Hey there, Papri people. Right before Christmas, I saw some news and I kind of sat on it for just a bit because I was trying to find out a bit more. What the heck am I talking about? It's this, The Cricket uh, by Sleep Res. So this is, these are the makers of VCOM. If you're not familiar with what that is, basically it decreases your in, inspiratory pressure. So CPAP is, it's supposed to be constant, right? It's always at one pressure. If you have EPR on, it drops the EPAP just a little bit. If you're on bi-level, it drops the EPAP quite a bit. Uh, with a faster rebound. Well, VCOM is, uh, when you inhale, it's slightly less than your expiratory pressure. So it makes it very comfortable, very smooth. Now what they have is this thing called the, they're calling it the Cricket. I don't remember what it stands for. I came up with a funny little name. Um, but anyway, it's out, sort of. It has FDA clearance, um, specifically FDA 510K clearance which apparently means that it's been shown to be safe and basically as effective or more effective than things out already, already out on the market, but also that you plan to market it within 90 days. So this was kind of mid, uh, mid December. So am I to believe that, um, mid March by mid March, we could potentially see a cricket, a K pap out there. I don't know. So this is me at the sleep conference. This is the cricket booth. Um, I did speak to some people there. Here's the actual KPAP device. Now this device is totally different from VCOM. This is what's FDA uh, 510K clearance. So this is much greater than VCOM. This is like when I breathed with it, this really drops off on inhalation and then it picks it back up on exhalation. I know that sounds really weird, but it feels really, really natural. So what I did is took some pictures. I spoke with, uh, I sent an email to Cami trying to get a little more information. Essentially, she had no more information to share. People are, tend to be pretty tight lipped around it. I have a feeling she'd share whatever she could um, about release date, things like that. Who's gonna be selling them, that kind of stuff. When I tried it, I found it. Okay, we have Stewie here. Yeah, he's just gonna just gonna jump across my keyboard and not say hi. So when I tried it, it was extremely smooth and I am a VCOM user, so I did like it quite a bit. So if you haven't seen this video yet, I, I encourage you to watch it. It's it's interesting and has a little more insight to it. Okay, what do I think about this? Am I excited about the release of this? Uh, yeah, I am. Any more bullets in the chamber to get the job done for people, I am all for. This is something that I personally believe in because I use it. I'm gonna leave this graphic up here. I'm sure this guy doesn't mind. I asked him, do you mind if I record you like, you know, I don't know, seven, eight months ago. I'm sure it'd be fine with this still image being up. But am I excited about this coming out? Yes. Any more bullets in the chamber to help people treat their sleep apnea? I am 100% for. And with this, I'm gonna say it's gonna be better for the run of the mill people, like people with standard obstructive sleep apnea, anyone with UARS, I really don't think it's gonna work for at all. Those people tend to do much better with just bi-level, uh, like bi-level S mode, do much better with that. So KPAP I think is gonna be great for those people who just really struggle with mouth leaks, aerophasia, uh, they find it to be uncomfortable. I think you get a great blend of comfort and effectiveness with the KPAP. So for that reason alone, I'm really excited. I think the people that don't watch these videos, don't search stuff out on YouTube, are gonna do really, really well with it. Um, if you have happen to have UARS, so I think you're gonna fail miserably. Uh, one thing I also am excited about, Dr. Noah, so he's the uh, the founder of KPAP, the founder of VCOM, the owner of SleepRes, or the founder of SleepRes. He, he says this is gonna have Oscar compatibility. That's what I've been told. Uh, as well as by the person who like it developed it and actually did did the software uh, and the design of the KPAP said that this is going to have Oscar compatibility. Whether it does or not, I don't know. But everyone is very very clear that yes, that is something that's going to happen. That's a case that is actually even more phenomenal. So I'm really looking forward to it. Um, do I know anything else about it? Absolutely not. Uh, I do want to get my hands on one when they're when they're finally out, so I can kind of do a review on it and see what it feels like. And I'd love to get feedback from people. But as of right now, that's all I've got.
So whether these are sold on cpapsupplies.com or not, I don't know. Uh, will the discount code apply of Lefty Winter to save 25% off your order? No, probably not. But you can use it to use it with any interface, any CPAP mask interface, any you can use a new parts finder. You can buy all kinds of stuff. Use discount code Lefty Winter, save 25% off of all of that. And I hope they have KPAP. I don't know. I should have probably checked before I did this video but I wanted to come out with this because I've been sitting on it for a while and I was like, you know what, if I release this around Christmas, no one's gonna watch. So here it is, a little bit late, but now you know. And let me know what you think about the possibilities of K-pop in the comments section. I appreciate you guys watching, bye. And time for an extra thick Thanks, buddy, to my top level supporters, Doug Toombs, Doug Toombs, Jason Georgiades, Jason Patricia Espelong, Stuart Hetherington, Alan, Alan Liu, Edward Steiner, and I'd like to say thank you also to these people, as well as those other people. Up the ante, you get a shout out. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Barely even on screen, but still appreciate the support.